All right, guys, now we're going to do a traditional kimura from the guard. This is one of the most traditional techniques in jiu-jitsu, and I'm going to show you a couple tricks to make it really work, okay? For all you guys who already know it out there, I'm going to show you some things that might be useful. All right, so I'm in the guard. The first thing I have to think about is breaking the posture. Either I'm going to come up or I'm going to pull him in. He's going to base on the floor. That's the traditional kimura. Now watch. I either I come up or I pull him in and I grab. Now when I grab, I'm not gonna use my thumbs. I'm gonna start grabbing like this, my thumb up. As I finish, I'm gonna be here with my finger, okay? Foot on the floor, come up, reach over the shoulder and grab, okay? Again, no thumbs. Now, I hip out. Now, you must keep this tight to your body. Like all kimuras, not out here, tight to your body, okay? After I hip out, you can recross your feet or not. Ideally, you wanna recross if you can. Now, here's where we run into problems, guys. This is where he's gonna to wanna to straighten his arm. It turns into this. Now, sometimes you can tap him here. This is a straight arm lock, but this is suboptimal. This is not what you want. The bent arm lock is better in this position because if you miss the straight, Oh, there are places you can go here, but you missed an opportunity. Here, how do I keep him straight? I do my motorcycle. Boom. Straighten your arm, Chad. Okay, very hard. Not impossible, but very hard. My motorcycle, here. Now, I use my body, not this. Clamp down, use your body. Okay, one more time. Get the grip. Come up, hip out, cross your feet, clamp, motorcycle, finish. And that's the traditional kimura. Remember, use your motorcycle and clamp that elbow. 